And next we have Philip. Hi everyone. Hi. I need I need your help to make this work. Um, uh, hopefully it will. So uh, for a long time now we've known that lectures are a really bad way of helping people learn and we continue to do that anyway and surprisingly and disappointingly for me some of the smartest people in online education are looking at the lecture model as their starting point but what if we took a different starting point as if we'd never been to a lecture and we looked at the technology we have today, social media, and we tried to reimagine what online learning could look like. So that's what we've been trying to do and we call it challenges, online challenges. And I kind of want to try to make one with you right now in the next 14 or 16 slides. Um, and it means you need to be on the ball and help me. Um, but I'll tell you a few things about what challenges look like to kind of get us started. So challenges are basically problem-based learning online. Big problems that are relevant to people's lives, lots of solutions, different ways to getting there. Um, we set a context uh, that defines why you want to do this challenge. Um, we give you a series of tasks that you can work through with other people at your own pace. And very important, you have to make something in the pro process. So you, you're creating something, an artifact, you're sharing it with other people. So none of this is really new, but online people are really str are still struggling to do this. So I've set up a little bit of a starting point. I'm going to make a challenge with you guys. That's Let's own the DML conference, um, 2013 probably, not 2012. So I need you guys to don't get up, but wake up. And I'm going to give you two options in this design process at each point, and you need to vote with your hands, feet, voices, which option you prefer, and then we're going to choose that one. Okay, first, we need to set the context. Option one is you are a spy that was sent to the DML conference to find out what is the magic sauce that makes this conference so much better than all the others. Second option, you work with David Goldberg. He went surfing this morning. He still hasn't returned. Now everyone looks to you for help. Option one, who's for? <laughs> option two. Okay, we, we need clear uh, uh, decisions here. Um, bo both options. Okay, session. Now we, we, we have to fix the session problem, right? So your first option is, What's the session that you would have liked to speak on most, but you didn't? Um, that's option one. The second option is, who was missing? What session was missing? So, option one. Yes. <laughs> Wait, option two? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Thank you. Okay. So, we're defining a few tasks. Next task, find the food, right? Food, important at conferences. So, the first option is going to be, what's the best closed coffee shop that you can run to and hide from your boss, but it's close enough that you can be back quickly when they call you and say, wait, where are you? And then option two is, which doesn't apply here, but how do you get to the front of the, how do you get to the, front of the drinks queue uh, on the last day when there's free drinks? So, option one. Yeah. Option two. Wow, the front of the drinks queue, I'm not surprised. Um, next one, one thing we don't do enough of at conferences is make new friends. We tend to talk to people we already know. So two options for making new friends. One is walk up to a total stranger, have a photo taken with that person and post it on your blog. Or <laughs> option two, have a great conversation with someone that doesn't involve work at all. You're not allowed to talk about work. Option one. <laughs> option two. I'm starting to think of something about two that's more important than the... Okay, last, last task. We have to make something, right? So we have to make something happen at conferences. Option one is you hatch a new project with someone, you sketch it on a napkin, you post it online, you share it with the world. Option two, you capture an idea that someone else shared somewhere and you tell the world about it. Option one. I think op option one is better this time. Option two. Okay. Okay, well. good, good. Um, okay, last one. We do have to make a badge, of course. It's a badge thing. Um, so the badge choices are the David Goldberg Hang 10 badge or the all, uh, wait, what is it? All your conference are belong to us badge. So it'll, t it'll t say a lot about who you are, which one you like. So badge one, badge two. Okay. Okay, well, 
basically, you guys, I don't know, what's, yeah, that's the last one. You've now designed the challenge. I've actually put it up online already. I'm going to finish it. And the idea is that we can all build challenges like this online to help people have really engaging learning experiences online with each other. Thank you.